What's up, guys? Welcome back. Lucy herself doesn't appear to be too worn out. She takes out a handkerchief and carefully wipes down my forehead. She's also so well prepared. The handkerchief, the handkerchief is giving off Lucy's scent. That is the fragrance of her perfume. I try to divert my attention away from it. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. She sounds worried. Woo. Seems if I've run a marathon. I can't believe I'm already this exhausted from running a few meters. It's proof that I'm out of shape. I can't, it can't be helped. I'm not very athletic in the first place. I sit around the sh sit in the shades during gym class anyway. This goddamn hipster, bro. I take some time to catch my breath. I start to feel better after a few moments. Chuinim. What is it? What do you want? 갑작스럽게 하는 격한 운동은 몸에 좋지 않답니다. 주의해 주세요. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get that. You gotta get the stretches. Stretches first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get some like ten running places. You know what I'm saying? Get get the, get the body going. Maybe a few. Maybe maybe just like maybe two burpees. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta get. Then you just gotta do a brisk like five minute walk on the on the um, on the treadmill. You know. Then you you build up. You know what I'm saying? Then you need the warm up first. You know what I'm saying? You need that warm up. Why exactly didn't they ran in the first place? What? You. It was because of you. I wonder where she's finding this sort of information. If she has a favorite feature, I would like to update it for her. Say. Do you know you could probably pass off as an actual person if you just remove the code of your stomach and that strange thing on your ear? 그런가요? Yeah. So long as you stop being so weird. 주인님? 루시는 얼빠진 소리 같은 건 해본 적이 없답니다. Ah, I just thought of something funny. I come up with a small lie to make her stop pouting. I'm surprised that she hasn't realized it herself. Speaking of which, can you take off that thing? Whatever whatever it is on your ear? That's what I figured. It'd be problematic if there wasn't a way to tell humans and androids apart. Imagine robots like Lucy running amok in our society. It pretty... I don't know if that would be the case, bro. Like... If you really think about it, they'd just be like humans, and it'd just be like, oh yeah, just respect, you know, the robot's body, and their rights, you know, robot rights, same rights as humans, I don't know, like, look, I, I, you can obviously see what side I'd be on here, you know, it'd, just, it'd really be sinful if they were as smart as us, I mean, as long as they didn't try to overthrow us, but maybe that would probably be the inevitable solution, but wouldn't other humans try to overthrow other humans, but is that better than not, look, I don't know, damn it, okay, I don't know. 저 주인님. What is it? 집에 돌아가기 전에 들리고 싶은 곳이 있는데요. 안 될까요? You want to stop by somewhere? 네. 깜빡하고 아르바이트비를 안 받아왔거든요. A part-time pay? What do you mean? You work somewhere? 네. 루시는 며칠 전부터 가게 일을 돕기 시작했답니다. The shop. You can't be talking about that place with the weird guy. 이상한? 아하. 네 맞아요. By weird, she knew exactly who I was referring to. Let's have a moment of silence for the repairman. 주인님이 학교에 가 계시는 동안 틈틈이 일을 도와드리면서 일당을 받기로 했어요. Why would you bother working in? the first place. 
그 옛날 백장선사께서도 그러셨잖아요 일하지 않는 자 먹지도 말라 조금이라도 일해서 주인님의 부담을 덜어드릴 생각이에요 I want to ask you something What my father said about paying the bills That's not on your mind, is it? Isn't it? 사, 사실이 아닙니다 Stop blushing, you know it is Alright Why the fuck are these sleeves so long? Him them shits! <laughs> what are you, a politician? 결단코 그러한 사실은 없습니다. I won't get angry to be honest. It's uh, best beyond I, whatever. 실은 조금? I I hit her on the head again. Are you an idiot? 주인님, 폭력은 헌법으로 금지되어 있답니다. It doesn't apply to you. 거기다 화안 내기로 해놓고선. I'm just trying to knock some sense into you. It's the same logic as hitting an old television to make it work. And that's why you're in. If, if, shut up. 루시는 최첨단 로봇이에요. 고물 TV처럼 다루시면 안 돼요. That's like. That's like. It's like calling somebody like, you know, like a human, a caveman or something like that. Fucking caveman. Fucking idiots. <laughs> I guess that's what it's equivalent to. That's because you keep telling me all these stupid things. If I was just saying that on a whim, why would you even care about something like that? He was just trying to make an excuse to yell at us. Don't you know about... Leon Festinger's theory of cognitive dissonance. Do you? Leo Pesti? You have the whole internet in your head. Don't don't give me that. 잘 모르겠습니다. 아하, 이제 알겠습니다. I never got used to how fast you can search anything on the go. So yeah, that what's my father's been saying is not necessarily the truth. It's just his emotions getting the better of him. What I'm trying to say is that the electricity bill is actually none of our concern. 그런가요? 그렇다면 다행이에요. So don't sweat the small stuff. There's no need for you to get a job. 그래도 그것과는 별개로 조금이라도 도움이 되고 싶은 걸요. Even though I'm telling you not to. 폐가 되지 않는다면 계속 도와드리고 싶어요. This robot refused to listen to its master. If she really wanted to help me, the least she could do was obey. Ugh, so annoying. Go do whatever you want then. I'll split out the words as I move along. I spit out the words as I move along. Damn it. God damn it. Let's collect this pay. You got the money? When we walked in, the owner was already busy with other, another guest. <laughs> Welcome. I believe that's his voice. Oh, it's you again. I see that you treat your customers as well as usual. Why don't you pay up if you want some sort of special treatment? Huh? Uh -huh. What the fuck? Did again. I should get going now. But you just got here. Let's have a drink after I'm done. I have some business to take care of. So, uh, 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 some business to take care of. Well, maybe next time. I guess it can't be helped. All right, see you later then. Man, never looked. Never once took his eyes off Lucy until he left. After making sure that he was gone, I asked her paramount a question. Who was that? A friend of mine who runs a robot shop in another town. He was planning to expand his business here, so he was taught asking if I'd be willing to work for him. That's good. Congratulations to become a professional engineer. What's next? Building a dispenser? 
I don't know where that came from. Huh, very funny kid. Who's that I accepted? I'm not giving up this quiet, relaxing life just yet. You can have this. He tosses me a sheet of paper that reads, Robot Shop Zerial.net. New location, random. And a futuristic, mechanical front. What's this? A flyer? This is the guy you just saw. When I look at you, I can sort of see your future, you know. You look like you'll probably end up an unemployed or homeless when you grow up. And that's why I'm looking out for you, kid. Keep that fire until the guy I sent you that you need if you ever need a job. Aren't you grateful? I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep the flyer. <laughs> Thank you. I'll use it if I never run out of toilet paper. Come on, just try calling him. Maybe you'll get some parts for cheap, who knows? And then what, bring them to you to fix it? I don't know about this. It doesn't seem I'll ever need it, but I decide to keep it for now. Their pairman is performing a routine maintenance on Lucy. I've been sitting here for around half an hour listening to the two chatter away. They seem to be to have agreed on trading Lucy's part-time pay for her regular maintenance. Shortly after the session's finished, with no other business, we decide to head back. On the way out, I casually toss the repairman a question. It's the same one I asked Dr. Gears. Do you believe that robots have feelings? And also, how many walkers have you killed? Uh, huh? He gives me a blank stare. It forms a serious look. Why do you ask? And also, three. No reason. Just came to me. He continues to stare at me for a while. Like he's trying to read my mind. He looks as if he understands what I'm thinking. Well, since you've been spending so much time with Lucy, I suppose I understand why you'd be perplexed. It's natural you'd be wondering about that. So what do you think? Do androids have feelings? They're imitations. Imitations? Not the real deal. Lucy's feelings are not genuine. She's a little different from other robots. She can do almost everything a real person can do. Thinking and experiencing on her own, then reacting. Getting angry, sad, or happy. But in the end, they're nothing but imitations. It'd be inaccurate to say that they're her own feelings. But at the same time, she's extremely close to the real thing. She's a fake piece of diamond that even professionals can't tell apart. A near perfect replica. But real diamonds have an astronomically high value. On the other hand, a fake one won't ever pass the value of a genuine. No one, no matter how close to the real thing it may be. What do you think about Lucy? What do you mean? Well, watching her, or watching what she's been doing, I want to know what you've been thinking. Compared to a real person, how does it feel to be with a fake? How does the Lucy you know compare to a real woman? Uh, I... I don't know. I'm asking him because I don't know. Not that I'm familiar with how a proper woman acts anyway. Well, whether you want to concern yourself with it or not, that's your choice. It's not something I can decide for you. Yeah. Goodbye. And after that thing, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye-bye.